All right, hi everybody. I wanted to go over something really important, I think, to help us understand where we get our points from and all that kind of thing. So we're talking about the unit circle and uh, just a general point P. Okay, first of all, unit circle, that means the radius is one all the way around. So that's, that's going to be one. It doesn't matter where it is, it's, it's one. So what that does on our axis, axes is here, it clearly shows us that we'll have points that'll be um, at, at, as follows here. So the x, y would be uh, x value of 1 and y value of 0. Um, this one would be uh, x value of 0, y value of 1. This would be x value of minus 1, y value of 0. And this would be uh, point P here, of course, talking about two point P's, uh, would be um, x value of 0 and y value of minus 1. Okay? Now, um, that's easy. That's what we can just kind of determine from the unit circle as drawn because we know the radius is 1. Well, what about um, something like this? How would we know off the cuff how to determine that? Well, I'm going to show you uh, by first showing you how these things came about. Okay? Now I'm just going to clear this, uh, make some space here, get rid of that here. Okay. So what I've done here is drawn a random angle, I call it angle theta. Okay, now we know that there's our x, our y, and our radius. Um, our ratios would be uh, sine of theta would be uh, opposite over hypotenuse, pi over r, uh, and cos of theta would equal uh, x over r. Uh, I'll leave tangent for another video, okay? So we're just thinking about that here. And as we uh, move, if we had this angle, we moved it up bigger, then this this section here, this piece from here to here, y would get bigger as we moved moved up here, as we moved the the dot up here, for example. Y the y height has become this big and moved into this height as we move that way. Similarly, if we were to move this to the right, then this height would decrease down to zero. Okay, so why does that matter? This is why that matters. Well, if the sine of theta is y over radius, that means that as we move this, if we move this angle down to being flat, which would be a perfectly no open angle at all, but just being on the x-axis, we flatten it out to be the x-axis, the opposite side of the hypothetical angle would be a zero because there would be no, see like the height is here, but when it's flat, there's no height between the arms. There's no difference between both arms, they're both on the x-axis. So there's no difference between them, that means there's a, a space of zero between them. So your y value is a zero. Okay, well our radius from here to here, as we've flattened our arms, our radius is still one. So sine of theta equals one. Now, cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, as we, um, the reason I'm, I'm saying compressed to the x-axis is because I should have said this earlier. We're looking at at this point P here. Um, we're going to compress this triangle, uh, this this angle downwards here again. Never mind that example. Um, and as we do this, this x-axis here, uh, this sorry, this distance between x. Uh, here and here slowly moves that way. There's only a little bit left, but as we close this down, this thing will move that way, down the circle, and what happens is that this line goes till the end. So the x, like, again, with this other triangle here, if we're, if we're up here, the x distance is only this. Well, as we move the angle to, to be this angle, the x distance now becomes this. So if we keep moving this down, the x distance becomes this. Okay. So our adjacent, this is the adjacent side, becomes the entire distance, which is 1. It becomes the radius. So we have 1 over the radius, and the radius is 1. And someone's better email me about that. This is 1. Okay. So we have sine theta equals 0 and cos theta equals 1. It's just to show one example uh, with regards to 
that point P, when we move our angles to be precisely at this point P here. Okay? So P, of course, is an XY. What we can tell from the graph okay, is that clearly it's um, 1 and 0. Okay? But we can also tell clearly from our ratios, well, if this is 1, well, cos theta equals 1. So that means this here is really the cos of the angle. Of course, in our case, we've squished it to be a zero angle. And then zero, well, we know that sine theta equals zero. So therefore, we can put sine theta instead of zero. Okay. Now, this is what I wanted to show to describe how we can find any point around here at all. And what that point will be, will be the cos of the angle, okay, whatever it is here, your x coordinate will be the cos of the angle, uh, and the, the y coordinate will be the sine of the angle, okay. Um, that's how we transfer from our x, y coordinate into what we can see from our constructed unit circle into um, into using the ratios with regards to point P on the unit circle. Okay. Um, any questions? Give me an email. I'd love to uh, make sure that this is clear for everybody.